Occasionally, you may need to change the igniter on your Weber Q. Before you do this, make sure that your gas is turned off and the hose has been disconnected. If you own a Weber Q with a piezo igniter, remove the wires from the terminal on the push button igniter. With a flathead screwdriver, unlock the igniter from the front cradle assembly by applying pressure to the upper and lower locking clip and remove it. Replace with the new push button igniter and secure it in place. Now attach the igniter wires to the terminals. Turn your gas bottle on and place the control knob to the start high position and now push the igniter. If your queue is still not lighting, you may need to change the igniter box. Remove the wires from the terminal on the push button igniter. Then remove the grill from your barbecue. With a shifting spanner, remove the screw that holds the burner tube to the cook box. Rotate the burner tube up and out of the way, resting it against the side of the cook box. Now lift up and slide the igniter electrode through the cook box. Replace the igniter box and slide the wires through the hole in the cook box. Now connect the white and black wires to the ignition module. Rotate the burner tube back into the cook box. Align the screw, burner tube and igniter electrode with the threaded hole and tighten the screw with the shifting spanner. Turn the gas bottle on and now turn the control knob to the start high position and push the igniter button. 